any GLN module can be extended to a Youngkin module. Moreover, there is a lecture embedding from enveloping algebra of, of GLN, here is capital N, to Youngkin. The image of EIG is TIG1. In, but in general, the Youngkin of level P is not a sub-algebra of, of Youngkin. So give, give sequence A and B of elements from 1 to N. The corresponding quantum manner of the matrix is defined by the following equivalent formulas. And this quantum manner is anti-symmetric and the permutation of row and column. And a module of Youngkin is called highest weight if there exists a non-zero vector C, such that L is generated by KC, and the action of TIG of U on KC is zero for I less than J, and the action of TII on KC is diagonalizable for some, some series lambda i of u. And the vector kc is called highest weight vector of L, and the set lambda is highest weight of L. And every finite dimensional simple module of Youngkin is highest weight. And if we consider the chain of subalgebras of Youngkin, and the Gaussian setting subalgebra, gamma of Youngkin is commutative subalgebra generated by the centers, the, the centers of y1, the centers of y2, and the centers of yn. And this Gaffan Zetini subalgebra of Youngkin is maximal commutative. So with this Gaffan Zetini subalgebra, we, we can define Gaffan Zetini module. A Youngkin module is called Gaffan Zetini module if its direct sum of Generalized Gaffan Zetini with spaces. And any fairly dimensional simple modules, module of Youngkin is isomorphic to a sub quotient of tensor product module. Here, L lambda i is simple module of GLN with highest weight lambda i. And this tensor product module can be regarded as. Youngkin of level P module. So we, we can, in order to construct a uh, Youngkin module, we can, we can just consider the Youngkin of level P. So let this uh, capital T idea of U be U to power P times T IG of U. It's a polynomial in U for um, greater or equal to one, the operators AM, BM, and CM are defined as follows. The coefficient of this series generates the Youngkin of level P. So for the highest vector C in finite dimensional module, L lambda U, the action of capital TIG of U is zero for i less than j, and the action of ti i of u is uh, lambda i of u times kc. And this lambda i is a modic pol polynomial in u, and it can be written as follows. And we can assume that lambda i k minus lambda i plus one k is long negative integer for any k. So consider a family of finite dimensional module of Youngkin of level P by imposing the condition. Lambda i k minus lambda g m is not integer for any i g and for war k is not equal to m. And the Gaffan Zetting tableau lambda u associated with the highest weight 
lambda u is an array of molecular polynomials in u of degree p. And this lambda ri of u can be written in this way. And the tuple of lambda is lambda ik. And this lambda satisfies it, the following conditions. And Moliv, Lazarov, and Tarasov uh, proved independently the, fo the following theorem. The module L lambda admits a basis C lambda parameterized by word tableau lambda u associated with lambda u. The action of the operators A, B, C is given by Gaffan Zetinin formulas. And here, lambda plus, uh, here is uh, lambda plus minus delta, delta R, I, K, corresponding to the tableau obtained from lambda U by replacing lambda R, I, K by lambda R, I, K plus minus one. So our goal is to construct Youngkin modules with Gaffan Zetin formulas and a certain Gaffan Zetin tableau. Here we introduce polynomial LRI. So for convenience, we, we denote the Cassie lambda by L, and this LNI is e equal to lambda i minus i plus one, and this L satisfy this condi condition. And then we have the relation between L and lambda, and we can rewrite the Gaffan Zetin formula. Okay. This is action of operators A, B, and C. Here we can compare the formulas. Here's the action on C lambda. Here we, we rewrite the formulas in terms of L. So it can be read in this way. So in order to find some less tableau, we introduce set of relations. Let V2 be the vertex Kij, and <coughs> R plus is the set Kij, K prime I minus one J prime, and we can define R minus and R zero. R zero is a relation in topro, and we consider the set R to be the union of these, these three sets. And for any subset of R, we call it a set of relations. And associated with and you see, we can construct a di direct graph G of C with set of vertex V and an arrow from Kij to Rst if and only if this element is in C. And we will picture the set of vertex as P triangular arrays with the case array given by this Kij. Here is an example. P is equal to 2 and equals 3. And this, this is the set V. And let us see P any set of relations, we denote this v. This by v of c, we we are denote the subset of v consisting of all i j, which are the starting or ending vertex of an arrow in g of c. And c is called indecomposable if the graph is connected, and c is called loop if the graph is a loop. And for 
I need to vertex we will write KIG grid or equal to RST if there is a path, there is a path from KIG to RST. And we we can define is Tableau satisfy C. We will see L satisfy C if this L satisfies the following condition for any element in C plus union C0, this LIJK minus LST is long negative integer, and for element in C minus, the difference is positive integer. And we see L is C realization if, if L satisfies C, and for any I, we have the difference is integer if and only if this this two is in the same component. And let's see B C realization. We define a basis. B C of L is the set of word tableau of the form T of L plus C and the top row of Z is zero and all other entries are integers. And by this V C of L denoted by the vector space spanned by this BCL. Let's see be any subset of R we call C admissible if for any C realization, the Gaffan Zetini formulas define a uh, Yangi module structure on VC of L. Here we have this example. Let us S be the following set of relation and by Molif Nazarov and Tarasov's theorem, we know this S is admissible. In general, it's very difficult to describe what is the admissible set of relation, but here we introduce our method to construct some admissible set of relation. Here, let us see a set of relation, and this kij is in V of C. We call this maximal if there is, there is no RST in V of C such that this element is in C. We can define the minimal similarly. And let us see be any admissible set, and kij is maximal or minimal. We denote this set C. Kij, the set of relations obtained from C by removing words relations that involve Kij. We see this, this one is obtained from C by RR method. So let's see one be admissible site. And suppose C2 is obtained from C1 by R method, then we have this C2 is admissible. So we have S is admissible, and with this theorem, we can construct some admissible sets of relations. Here is an example. But this example gives us idea to describe all admissible sets. Let's see the indecomposable set. And this, this, this is a lexical, lexical graphic order. We see C is pre-admissible if it satisfies the following condition. C does not contain loops. The second one, C is non-critical. <coughs> and for any, for any I, this Kij is greater or equal to Rit if and only if these two are in the same indecomposable subset of C, and this Kj is less than Rt, and C is reduced, and there is not cross in C. An arbitrary set C is pre-admissible if every indecomposable subset of C is pre-admissible, and denoted by F the set of or indecomposable pre-admissible sets C, which satisfies the following condition. For every adjoining triples, one of the following is a 
subset of C. Maybe it's better to have the graph associated with the set of relation for any Well, the joining pair we have, this one. One of the set is a subset of C. And a set of <coughs> relation C is admissible if and only if it's equivalent to a union of indecomposable sets from F. So we, we describe all the admissible sets of relation. And let's say be an admissible set of relations, and L is a C realization. The module is simple if and only if C is a maximal set of relations satisfied L. And this is a, a irreducibility of this, this module. And we see Lambda U is good if, if it satisfies the conditions. The difference is not integer, or the difference is greater than I minus J for, for any K and I less than J. Assume Lambda U is good for any K, and CK is a maximal set of relations satisfied by LK, then this vector space is simple GLN module with highest weight lambda k. And let lambda u be good weight. And the, we take the c to be the union of sets ck. And if for any IGR, we have this condition then C is admissible, and this highest width module is isomorphic to VC of L. So here we can construct some, some highest width module for, for young gains. And we have the following theorem. Let lambda be a generic set of good weights. Then the young gain module is irreducible. So here is generic means the difference between different lambda is not integer. And for, <coughs> for any error, we introduce the following set. So error can be read as union of pairwise disjoint sides. And we introduce this 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 set this side is these two sets. And L and J L I negative is a union of the, this this sets and L J L I plus is a union of these sets. And for high suites of GRM modules we Delete L i to be lambda i minus i plus one, and m i is a mu i minus i plus one, and let lambda and mu be good G L n highest weights. Suppose that for each pair of the index, we we have the following condition, then the young gain module is simple. I will finish the talk with some conjectures. Here we prove this condition is sufficient for the tensor product to be simple. The conjecture one, this condition one is necessary for the tensor product to be simple. The conjecture two, let L to be a set of good weights if Lambda i and lambda j satisfy condition one for any i less than j, then the tensor product is simple. 
and conjecture 3. Let L be a set of good weights, then the tensor product module is simple if and only if for any i less than j, the tensor product of L lambda i, tensor L lambda j is simple. And this, I this was proved by Nazarov and Tarsov in 2002. They, pr they prove this statement for finite dimension module. And in 2010, Halle does prove this statement for, for quantum affine modules. And conjecture one and conjecture two imply conjecture three. And this conjecture one and conjecture three imply conjecture two. I will stop here. Thank you. Highest weight. Highest weight. Is it interesting to see the lowest weight, or is there no beneficial? Yeah, I, I, th I think we can construct some lowest weight by the uh, isomorphism between Youngkins. If we if we have if we have a highest weight module, we can use a isomorphism between Youngkins to construct lowest weight. Loops, yeah. loop, loops is, yeah. if we have some, here we have s something. We have some arrows, something like, this is a loop. So we, we start from here, we follow the arrows, and we go back to this, this vertex. So th th this is a loop. Mm 